So phenols, phenols are hydroxy derivative of aromatic hydrocarbon. We know aromatic hydrocarbon example benzene, naphthalene, these are aromatic hydrocarbon. Hydroxy derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbon means the hydrogen is replaced by OH group. Well, hydroxy derivatives, hydroxy derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon Hydrocarbon are called phenols. Example So here one nitrogen of benzene C six H six one nitrogen is replaced by which we can also write one more example so we know it's a naphthalene it's also aromatic two benzene rings are used one nitrogen is replaced by which these are hydroxy derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons well in the classification now phenols we are classifying into like alcohol, monohydric phenols, dihydric phenols, trihydric phenols, etc. As per syllabus, we have discussed some monohydric and dihydric phenols. So, in classification, a monohydric phenols, monohydric phenols. So, phenols with one OH groups means you have to substitute or replace hydrogen by one OH group. So, monohydric phenol, I am writing monohydric phenol example is this is called common name is phenol. Common name is phenol. Well, the IPSC name of Monohydrophenol or this compound is hydroxy benzene. We know why it is called hydroxy and this is called benzene. So it is hydroxy benzene. We can write few more examples. Example is C6H5OH. Now one hydrogen is replaced by CH3. So when we have OH and CH3 group in the benzene ring, then it is called chrysose. So these are at ortho position or on the adjacent carbon, so it is called ortho chrysose. Then we can write CH3 group on other carbon also, OH, CH3. We know this, this position is meta, meta so Then we have OH group and CH groups are on opposite side, that is on first and fourth carbon. We know it is called para, para -crisol. So ortho -crisol, CH3 group may be on this carbon or may be on this carbon. So, this ortho also meta position is this one or this one, that is carbon number 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, it is a meta and this is para also. Well, IPSC name of ortho also is, you can see the name right here, IPSC name is on the carbon number 2, 1, 2. So, it is a 2 meta I. Phenol. You can also write IPSC name is uh, of this compound as phenol itself instead of hydroxybenzene. Phenol is also included in the IPSC system. Then we know this compound is 1, 2, 3. It's a 3 methyl 
phenol. Three methyl phenol. And so one, two, three, four. So four methyl. Four methyl phenol. Nine PC. So it is hydroxy benzene. This is also included in this name. This one is phenol nine PC also. Or can also be named as per system hydroxy benzene. Or simple phenol. CH3OH resource. So it's a ortho, meta, and the hydroxy benzene or simple phenol. And the second carbon we have methyl. So it's a methyl phenol. Cannot number like this because substituent should be close to the this functional group. So it's on the second carbon. So third, three methyl phenol. It's a four methyl phenol. The fourth carbon we have methyl. Well, afterwards. Dihydric phenols. As we know, in, even in the alcohol, we study dihydric alcohol, means which contains two OH. Similarly, in dihydric phenols, phenol containing two OH, a molecule of phenol containing two OH groups are or dihydric phenols. Example for dihydric phenols we have OH and OH. So common name and IPC common name. So this is called cataco C A T E C H O L cataco. Then we are OH group on the one and third carbon. This is called resource synon. Resource synon. Then we have OH group on opposite sides. OH group on opposite side of the benzene ring. So, it's a common name. IUPAC name. IUPAC name. IUPAC name of this one is as in case of phenol, we will call hydroxy benzene. Can also be named as now this one also be named as benzene. Then one two dot R on the first and second carbon we have OH group and we know OH group is OU. So it is benzene, benzene, 1 comma 2 di of OH means, OH means OH. And name of this compound is again your number from here 1, 2, 3. It should not be like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because it is a car. Okay, it is a lowest sum good, must be closer to the functional group or the sum of the Locant must be minimum. Sum of the locant is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. If you are numbering like this, then it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 plus, 1 plus 3 is a 4. 1 plus 5 is equal to 9. So, sum of the locant 1 and 3, 4. Sum of the locant, it is numbered like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 plus 5 is a 1 plus 5 equal to 6. Name of this one is, IUPSC name of this one is, Benzene, benzene, one comma three tri of, and for this one it's a one two three four benzene, one comma four di of, di 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 of. This is for dihydric sorry, phenols. That's a trihydric phenols. Trihydric phenols. The molecule of phenol containing three OH group are called trihydric phenols. So, in phenol, OH group is directly attached to the benzene ring. That 
you have to remember, if OH group is attached to the elliptic along with the this one, phenolic, then you call that one as alcohol. Okay. So, triadric phenols, examples you have to write, contains three OH group, common name, then we have IOPC. Common name, I mean sorry, common name diphase. First I am writing examples. 3 OH group we have in a molecule. We have 3 OH group attached to the benzene ring. 3 OH group attached to the benzene ring. It's not written the common name for this. Is quinone. Quinone is the common name for this one. 3 OH group attached to the benzene ring. We have 3 OH group attached to benzene ring. Well, the first one is we have 3 OH group. Continuous to your 3 OH group and the common name for this one is common name pyrogela pyrogela and for this one so we know this is called QNO Q U I N O N so this is called QNO we have hydroxy so it is hydroxyquinone, you can write either on this carbon or other carbon, then the position of that OH group is on second carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4. On the second carbon we have OH. If you replace this OH to this position, then 1, 2, second carbon. To this position, instead of this, 1, 2, second carbon. To this position, 1, 2. So, here, the common name of this one is the first part. Hydroxy, hydroxy, you know, and the common name for this one is chlorobucinol. Chlorobucinol. Now, why do we see name for trigram? You know, why do we see name for Pyrogalolid is number the carbon in this one process. So it's a 1, 2, 3. The name of this one is benzene. We know totally 3 OH group and the positions are 1, 2, 3 benzene. 1, 2, 3. Total are 3. So it's try all. Well, the name of this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, it is benzene. Benzene. Then it is 1, 2, 4. Try all. Name of this one is again benzene. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Benzene. 1 comma 3 comma 5 try or you have to number like this only because sum of the lower end is minimum it is number like this 1 comma 2 then it is 4 1 plus 2 plus 4 3 plus 4 7 and it is numbered in reverse way 1 2 3 4 5 6 then it is 1 plus 4 plus 6 is larger compared to the first method. So, this is the correct way of numbering for this triadric phenol. Well, after classification and nomenclature, it is about the study of preparation of phenols. Like in alcohols, we have different methods for phenols also. One is simple by using chlorobenzene. That method is called Dow's process. Chlorobenzene is heated to about 623 Kelvin to 653 Kelvin 
under a pressure of about 300 atmosphere with NaOH gives sodium pinoxide. The neutron acidification gives the pinon. Or simply if you are fusing, if you are using simple chloride engine with appropriate amount of the NaOH, then also we can get the this uh, phenol. That's the first method. Let's discuss the preparation of phenols by different methods. Preparation number one from fluorobenzene. Preparation from fluorobenzene. First one is from fluorobenzene. B D C B D C B D C means B 
benzin diazonium chloride the short form of benzene diazonium well formula for benzene diazonium chloride so benzene dies to we have two nitrogen benzene diazonium azonium means nitrogen benzene diazonium an aqueous solution of benzene diazonium chloride aquamous water is heated we will get phenol one more product you have to remember in nitrogen and this so next method number 3 third one is from benzene itself from benzene well here benzene is converted into benzene sulfonic acid first and after works benzene sulfonic acid is fused or heated with fused NaOH so to give the uh, sodium pinoxide which on acidification gives the pino so from benzene benzene is heated with polyum or it's also called fuming sulfuric acid fuming acid so for to give benzene sulfonic acid benzene sulfonic acid so we have benzene heated with polyum or fuming sulfonic acid volume is h2s2 o7 so i am writing highly concentrated or You mean sulfurous? So this mixture on heating, you are getting benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is heated with fused NaOH. So that on heating, you are getting sodium pinoxide. Sodium pinoxide or acidification gives uh, pinol. Benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid is heated. is heated with fuse NaOH to give sodium pinoxide to give sodium pinoxide which on acidification which on Acidification which on acidification gives you know so here the reaction is SO3H this benzene sulfonic acid you said the name is product is sodium pinoxide sodium pinoxide on acidification with hcl you will get you know so first one is from chlorobenzene 
we need drastic condition because this bond is uh, CL strongly bound to the carbon. Second one is from BDC. Just by heating with water or just by heating the BDC, aqueous of BDC, you are getting phenol. From benzene, we are two step here. First, to convert benzene into benzene sulfonic acid, and afterwards, benzene sulfonic acid is heated with the NaOH to be the sodium monoxide, which on acidification with HCl or NaOHSO4 gives phenol. Well, afterwards. Fourth method, that fourth method is important from cumin. So, fourth one is from cumin. Cumin, chemically, cumin is nothing but isopropyl benzene from cumin. So, here cumin is heated with air or oxygen to give cumin hydroperoxide. Cumin hydroperoxide on heating with the dilute H2SO4 undergoes hydrolysis to give the phenol and acetone. This method is very important because you are getting the important byproduct acetone. Simple method cumin is heated with O2 that is oxygen. Give cumin nitroperoxide. Nitroperoxide. It's on heating. It's on heating with. It's on heating with. and acetone. So this method is important because you are getting one more valuable product called acetone. That, that uh, product is called bind. Both are valuable phenol as well as acetone. Well, cumin is nothing but isopropyl benzene. See it. Then we have CH3, CH3. This is cumin or isopropyl, isopropyl benzene. So this is heated with air or oxygen to give cumin nitroperoxide. Formula for cumin nitroperoxide is that is making this one COOH we know hydroperoxide CH3 CH3 Cumin hydroperoxide on heating in presence of dilute HCSO4 gives phenol and acetone. Phenol and acetone. So these are the different methods you are using to prepare phenol. One is from chlorobenzene, second one is from BDC, third one is from benzene and fourth one is from cumin. These are the four methods you are using to prepare benzene.